Hi, uh, hi everyone. It's Marie Walters here, walking with God again. The little prayer first. Heavenly Father, mighty God, I put this message, my God, in your hands and your hands only. Father, we're talking about forgiveness today. To look deep in our hearts, my Father, because if we learn how to forgive, my Father, we can move on to greater things in you, my God. Because when you forgive, you forgive generously. And we must forgive generously by copying Jesus. Thank you, Father. The message I'm giving you today is many of us have been through lots of trials and tribulation, lots of problems. Mine, I won't go deep, but abuse, neglect, beaten, raped, all kind of things have happened to me. I was one of the main person in my family, one of the, the most prominent family member in my fam in my, my family. Now I'm I'm least, I'm the least of all with them but not at least with God so I praise God and I give him all the glory this message is to glorify my God and to help others who are in similar situation I mother neglect father neglect brother neglect sister neglect cousin neglect you name it everyone is neglect the only Jesus to stand firm with me and I'm I'm happy that they showed me that this side of them because I really was always going out for my family I always try to go out to help them to do things for them. But this has opened my eyes. That's why Jesus said, once I was lost, and now I'm found. I was blind, but now I see. I've learned something very, very, very important in my life. You have to forgive. And you can't just forgive one time. You have to have a continuous forgiveness mode. Continuous forgiveness mode. Because every day you're going to find somebody some, do something to you that you need to forgive them. So what I do, I, I, make the, I, I walk in spirit. I have a cloak called a forgiveness cloak, a spiritual cloak. I put it on before I leave my house and I wear it continuously. It reminds me that no matter what I'm, don't take everything as gospel what people say to you. Take it with a pinch of salt and forgive them. People will not treat you nice, especially if you love Christ. Especially if you love Christ, you will not find no love because they attack you more because the evil spirits can pick up that you love God, Jesus and God. And so it attacks you. So what I'm saying is, all those I'm supposed to have hurt, they tell me that I've hurt them and I've done this and I've done that to them. I can't even remember it. I can't, after things they say I've done, I can't even remember it. So I pray to God and I say, God, what have I done? If, I, if I've done it, Father, knowingly or unknowingly, please forgive me, Father. Please forgive me, knowingly or unknowingly. You see how the devil's trying to interrupt by phone calls, but I'm taking no notes of it because this is an important message that has to go through. So what I've learned now, those who blame me for things that I never did, I forgive them. Because when the devil wants to attack you, the first thing he attacks you is lies. Guarantee. He can't tell the truth and attack you. He has to attack you with lies to make others believe. And when you see one group up who don't like you, they look for others who don't like you. But count it joy because all those who are grouped up because of you, you are so important that they've all grouped up against you one. So there's something special about you. Don't fear nothing. Just trust God. Trust God completely. He's got your back. He's got your front. He's got your feet. He's got your hands. When they all left me, I won the wind rush. And I never had to share nothing with them. I didn't have to share nothing because they all hated me. I didn't have to do nothing. And even now, still, God is blessing me. I'm not going to talk too much because when God's blessing you, you don't say what he's doing because the evil mouth will say things to twist it up. God is blessing me. I'm a happy person. My son's doing well at college. He goes college regular. He's getting a good bursary. Everything is good because I'm faithful to my God. Obedience is important. Obedience is very, very important. You see, when you forgive, you don't have to remember nothing. Forget everything. You don't have to remember anything. And what makes it good for me, I've got slight dementia now. I can't remember nothing. They want me to remember things that I never did and trying to make me believe that I did these things. I don't. I go to my God and say, Father, did I do these things? If I did, please show me where I did it so I can say forgive me. I forgive them. So I can go and say sorry. God, one time God said, even if you haven't done it, just go and say sorry. I called them and I said sorry. And still it was not good enough. It was not good enough for them. So now I've left them alone and I put them in God's hand. Anything they wish for me, 
I wish it back for them and their generation. Every one of them, because I know I'm living clean. I live clean. I pray every day. I spend a few, two, about two hours or one hour in the morning praying and reading my Bible and my devotional. Talk to God about what the day I want to have and ask God, Jesus, to have the driving the steering wheel in my life. Every single morning, I put God first. I, I put the coffee on, yes, but I pray before I even have my coffee because I, God is number one for me. I put my day in his hands. I live for him. I don't leave my house without blessing my house. I tell my son never to leave the house while praying because you don't know if you're going to come back. My life is all about God, completely about God. I get attacked in the church. Any church I go, I get attacked. Anywhere I go, I get attacked. I get attacked all the time. But you know something? God has shown me when these things are happening, count it joy because there's something special about me. So I just give it all joy. If you got a testimony, talk your testimony, make it help. I remember one time I was going on the bus and this lady said she's going home to kill herself. I said, why are you going to do that? She goes, because they took her child from her and she can't live without her baby. I said, come, I'm going to church. Come to church with me. And I took her to church with me. And she came to church a few, a few times, a few weeks straight. I don't know what happened to her now, but I know she never killed herself that day. And things have got better. From she started going to church, things have got better. I prayed for her on a regular basis. And I haven't seen her again since that time. But I know she's all right. We are here for one another. We are not here for ourselves. We are supposed to help anywhere we can help. We help. And never give more than you can afford to lose. Never give more than you can afford to lose. God says we must help each other. When God bless us, we must bless back somebody else. Blessing is like a seed planted. It grows. You put it in the right soil, it grows, and you get more blessing. Tithes and offering is a must. God says you must do it, and you should do it. Because your money will be protected when you tithe and offer in your church. Right now, I've got a church I'm going to, but I'm looking for a good church. So I'm hoping God will find me one. I don't want no one to help me to, or encourage me to go anywhere else. I know God will find me a good church that, like, that's like Jesus. Like how Jesus treats his disciples and children. I want a church like that. The church is really foundering now, floundering, because many people are not trusting the church because of what's going on in the church. Lots of things happening. That's why I know the coming of Jesus is very close because the church is the bride of Christ. And if the bride is unclean, oh, it's not good. It's not a good thing. Anyway, I want to read a few things to you. The first thing I want to read to you is in my daily word. It says, um, forgiveness energizes you to move on. If you don't forgive, you can't move on. And if you're a sickly person and you won't forgive, you won't get better until you forgive. The day you forgive that person who has hurt you in the past, you, your healing starts instantly. So you have to go on your knee 12 o'clock at night or 3 a.m. in the morning. Go on your knee and say, Father God, forgive me for not for being a forgiving person, but I want to forgive this person for what they've done to me. Please heal me from today, my God, in Jesus' name. God hears all good, sincere prayer. Say it from your heart. Another thing, God forgives us. You cannot be forgiven. If you don't forgive somebody, God will not forgive you. And you can't count how much things you've done in your past that need to be forgiven. So you need to know God is good. God is love. Your joy, the loss of joy is when people are in sin. The first item is sin. Joy depends on, on you, our having a good relationship with our God. Sin separates us from our God and the devil can come in at any time and do what he feels to, to do with us. So we have to stay, stay close to God because sin causes death and God is life. That's another thing we've got to say. Anyway... Going on a little bit further from what I was saying. Forgiveness is very important. You have to forgive. I heard a story one long time ago. This woman, she had three children. And her niece was in the house babysitting her children. And the niece was playing with fire. And the whole house burned down with her three children. The niece was protected. The niece was saved. And she lived. But the, the, the mother, the auntie, never forgave her. Never forgave her because she lost her three children and she was too old to have any more children. One day she was in church and the pastor was talking about forgiveness. She felt it in her heart. The Holy Spirit told her to go and forgive. She must forgive. She went home that day after years her children had died, you know, years, maybe seven years her children had died. 
And she says, called her niece and said, I forgive you for what happened. I, I love you, niece. I love you. Would you believe the very morning that niece never woke up? So that auntie was stopping God from working because the niece never wanted to live. She, she, she missed her, her cousins. She didn't want to live. So that auntie was stopping God from acting. The morning that niece never woke up. So we have got to learn to forgive. We have to learn to forgive. And when we forgive, we put it far away. We do not bring it back up. Because if God forgive us, he says he put it far away from us. He doesn't remember it. So we have to copy what God does. If we forgive, forget, put it far away. And it doesn't mean we have to go back in the same situation. But we have to put it far away from us. I hope this message has helped somebody. Like, share, please, and subscribe. I love you. Walking with God daily is a part of life. Make Jesus be a part of your life every day. Okay? I've, I say all of these things in Jesus' name. Sealed, signed, and delivered to you. Have a good day. God bless. Merry Christmas when it comes and Happy New Year. Bye.